Okay, I want to look at a limit problem such as this one. Um, it presents several problems. One is that when we take the limit as h goes to 0 for this particular problem, we notice that we get 0 over 0, which can commonly happen when we have limits of quotients. So we want to find an algebraic way to clean this up because 0 over 0 is what's called an indeterminate form of a limit. So we don't know what the limit is. It might be 0, it might be infinity, it might be a finite number. And the other thing is that limits of this type will be very prevalent when we start talking about derivatives in future chapters. So let's take an algebra step here. And as we take this algebra step, let's just remember one thing, and this is going to really be what drives what we do, that a minus b times a plus b is equal to a squared minus b squared. So that's the difference of squares. And this is going to be really useful when we have limit problems that have these radicals floating around. So that's multiplying by what we call the conjugate. So we're going to do that here. We've got the square root of 5h plus 4 minus 2 divided by h. And we're going to multiply the top and the bottom of this fraction by the conjugate of that square root of 5h plus 4 minus 2. So that would be the square root of 5h plus 4 plus 2, and then we're going to divide by the same so that we don't change the expression, 5h plus 4 plus 2. All of that stuff on the right-hand side in the green, if you look at it, it's just 1. So I've not changed the actual problem that I'm trying to solve, which is this one up here. Okay, so that's all the same. So looking at this, we see that the consequence of multiplying by the conjugate is that f square root of 5h plus 4 minus 2 times the square root of 5h plus 4 plus 2 is going to be a squared, and this is a, and then it's going to be minus b squared, so that's b. So that's going to be the square root of 5h plus 4 all squared minus 2 squared, which is 4. And then that will be divided by, well, what's left? There's an h in the first fraction, and then there's still a quantity square root of 5h plus 4 plus 2. And I'm going to be careful with the parentheses because I don't want to mess up my algebra steps. Okay, let me go ahead and see if I can cut and paste this. So I'll copy that up. And I'm going to paste that on this other page over here so we can see it. Okay. So, um, and this term right here to get the square in there. All right, so when I square that radical, that's going to give me well, that'll be 5h plus 4 minus 4. And then that's all over um, h times the square root of 5h plus 4 plus 2 outside the radical. Okay, so now the plus 4 and the minus 4s are going to cancel. And this is great because what I was really trying to do, and I'm going to go back here and look at this first page, is that I needed to find something in that numerator. I had to do something to the numerator to get a common factor of h so I could cancel it out because that h in the denominator is what was causing the 0 in the denominator there as I took the limit as h went to 0. So this is looking pretty good because what you see now is that after I simplify this, the algebra gives me 5h divided by h times the square root of 5h plus 4 plus 2. And so notice I now have that common factor of h in the numerator and denominator that I wanted. So there's an h there in the numerator and h there in the denominator. Of course, those cancel. And that's great because that h in the denominator is what's causing the 0 when I take the limit. So once this is simplified up nicely, then this becomes 5 divided by the square root of 5h plus 4 plus 2. And now I'm ready to take the limit and finish the problem. So the limit as h goes to 0 
of 5 over the quantity square root 5h plus 4 then plus 2 on the outside well as h goes to 0 that h right there becomes a 0 and so that's 5 times 0 so what I have under the radical now I'm ready to just finish this thing it's 5 over the square root of 4 plus 2 square root of 4 is 2 and 2 and 2 is 4 so this is 5 fourths